How you doing? It's Chris. Uh, I have a search today. I'm in UBC in Diamond Land. Uh, what is this called? Is this the uh, is this housing for the kids here for the young students? Uh, mostly. Mostly student housing here at UBC in Diamond Lands, where I have a young man, Johan, who lost, I believe, a class ring. Johan, is that right? Can you can you tell us what happened, Johan? Um, so I left my ring in my friend's house and he just decided to throw it outside the balcony around like 1 a.m. in the morning when it was really dark and I heard the ring landing on the grass. You heard it? Yeah, it landed but I've been trying to look around but okay. it was really mushy so... It might have got stepped on and yeah, buried. Yeah, might have like, stepped on it and like, it might have been buried. And which, we were looking at that apartment straight ahead with the chair and stuff? Um, yeah, with the table. Like. With the table, yeah. Okay, so it's from that balcony. Where were you standing, Johan? Uh, I was standing right here. So he was throwing it to you? Yeah. At 1 a.m.? Yeah. Not the greatest idea. <laughs> well, let's see if we can find it for you. Cool. That's, uh... Hey, guys, today I'm using my, uh, my um, Garrett's AT Gold. I have used this in a few searches before. Great little machine. We'll test it out and see how it does today. I like to switch it up from whites mine lab to Garrett so we'll we'll see what how long it takes us. Okay, here we go. see that that was uh, <laughs> we have a, a smiling young man here how long did that take five minutes there it is and uh, a little dirty and we found it I'm gonna show you we're gonna find it way over here on my third my third search and it was right there check it out right here and it was completely buried. You wouldn't have seen that, would you? No, not at all. That's a beautiful ring, you guys. Check it out. That's a nice, nice ring, and it gets to go back. You on there? You go, sir. So welcome. Tell me, what does that, what does that mean to you to get it back? Uh, it meant it really means a lot because I got it from my brother for like a really good sign for me to graduate early. Nice. So that's why I really wanted to find it. You never told your brother, I, I take it, that you lost it. No, I did. Tell oh, you did, yeah? Yeah, how did, how did you take that? Uh, he wasn't really okay with it. I'm going to get you over here. I'm probably blasting in the sun. But can I have a look at your ring? That was really beautiful. It's a great looking ring. And what is the symbol on it? Uh, it's a school of medicals in uh, Hungary. In Hungary, in 2013. Yeah. And um, it was given to you by your brother. So fantastic. You, you know something? Everybody's ring has a story attached to it. And when it's lost, the story ends. What we do is find it. So there you go. Your story continues. And Hey, it's Chris. Uh, that search took about two minutes. And I found it just behind where he was standing. And it made sense that his friend probably threw it a little farther than any, he thought. Instead of in front, it ended up about 10 yards behind. It was about my second or third line. I was grid searching and uh, we found this ring. Really nice young man, so happy I could get it back to him. Thank you so much for watching the Ring Finders. Uh, until the next search, take care.